Hey, this is Connor Grennan. I'm the author of the Hadley Academy for the Improbably Gifted. The Hadley Academy is the beginning story of the end of the world, and the future books will be more of the post-apocalyptic world. But this world is heading toward darkness. And when something like that is coming, it's an unstoppable force. If you're serious about saving civilization and saving humanity, then it starts with young people. I think what I'm trying to tell in this book is a story where kids are empowered to actually get trained on how to fight it. They're needed by the world to save the world. And all the Hadley Academy does is bring them in and train them to use their own strength to fight this incredible threat to civilization. In the Hadley Academy, a gift they call a spade, like the spade card in, in a deck of cards, because it is the greatest thing about you. It is something that you often hide, even to yourself, because it makes you different. And every kid is born with this, but it's the kids that are the bravest that can come out and show how they are truly unique are the ones that find out that they have these powers that can actually change the world. They can fight better, they can move things, they can talk to animals, they can do all these things and they have to be able to work together because the war is here and the monsters are real. The four main characters in the book, like everybody else, are born with spades. Jack and Freddy and Voss and Asha form this team of outcasts and misfits who don't even seem to have these gifts and yet they are believed by this old guard to be the solution to fighting this darkness. If this team, Jack, Freddy, Voss, and Asha, can come to terms with who they are, those are the gifts that can really form together to fight this darkness. And so this is the team that has to trust each other and has to figure out uh, how to work together and how to combat this darkness. Uh, for me, the inspiration for this came from a couple of places. I know that age group uh, very well, and I love connecting with that age group from uh, my work in Nepal to uh, you know my own kids who are starting to approach that. I teach Sunday school at that uh, age level. I just love this age group, and I love uh, their imagination. So I've always wanted to write at that age level. Elk Island is modeled after a real island called Monhegan Island uh, off the coast of Maine that I used to go to uh, as a kid and was just totally enchanted by it. And it used to be a real escape every summer. And I just wanted to be there more. I wanted to spend time on Monhegan Island and so this is how I did it. I wrote a book about uh, that island. The characters are completely inspired by people that I knew and um, by sort of paradigms of people that I knew. So when I was living in the inner city and I went to a magnet school in Jersey City, uh, which brought in bright kids, you could see the tension every day of the kids coming from these uh, neighborhoods into this place and having to be something different and having to say, this gift that you have, this intelligence that you have, this is really valuable. And you have to come to this school and learn this, learn these things because you're gonna go out into the world and use these things for the betterment of the world. So the key takeaway for kids that I hope that kids see um, is that this is not a story where certain people are born with certain gifts and you have to hope that you're that person. Everybody has it. That is also in the real world. Everybody is born with this uniquely improbable gift. As a parent myself, I often fall into this trap of thinking that kids need to be protected from things and kids won't understand and I always think you can't think of a kid as a kid that age you have to think of that kid as a future uh, adult and contributor to society so what are you doing for kids now and to me it's showing them what the world uh, is really like in the most wise way that you can do it as a parent but also showing them that the world doesn't have to be like this because they have the ability to change it.